Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Cheese Gaming here, and we'll get back to more of Let's Play Majora's Mask. Last time, we gone through the well, getting the mirror shield, and reaching Ikana Castle. However, we won't be able to do much here. While we're here, there are some Garos here, and that will actually explain how to get through the castle. That also be around. Uh, yes I do. There's the Garo. Master, you called. There's an easy way to defeat them, just... Use your shield to get rid of their swords, and then they'll tell you the information. A hole can be opened in the ceiling with a park in a particular room in Nikana Castle, but it cannot be broken without an explosive with incredible mind. Belief or disbelief race with you to die without leaving a corpse. Should be another Garo around here. There we go. Though my rival, you were spectacular. I shall take my bow. There is another secret room apart from the well entrance. To die without leaving a corpse. And soon there should be another Garo here. Where are you, my friend? Or rather, my rival. And what do you have to say? Man, they're really easy enemies. I did a terrible job the first time. The Redeads and Econo were members of the castle dancing true. Believe or disbelieve. That's actually a hint. Anyways, you want to go ahead? Cut up this grass. Replenish hearts and arrows that you may have used up in that well. And well, he said that we needed a powerful explosive, so we have the ocarina cut through our hood. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to fly to Clock Town and by going into the trading into the bomb shop and tugging to the Goron. As a Goron, of course. I'll go ahead and get the well powder keg. So afterward so after I do that, I'll meet you right back at Ikana Castle. Or the entrance to it. Once you have a powder keg, costs only 50 rupees, so I we had 60. We'll soar right back to Ikana Canyon. Of course, we're gonna take off the Goron mask. And we're gonna go straight across the newly created river. You kind of castle front gate. Well, you what you will. The sealed gate shall never open. Well, there is a shortcut, thankfully. With a mirror shield, we're gonna have to go ahead, hit this switch, and use it to aim at that sunblock. If I can. If I can reach. Hello? the sun outside didn't, like, destroy it. Anyways, we can go ahead and... They said that they were tired of the dancing troop, huh? 
Well, perhaps we can put on those Golkita masks that was required to get here. And what do you know? Three deads that are spinning around like ballerinas. Dropping tons of rupees. Thank you all so much, my friends. Anyways, anyways, while we're in here, we're gonna need a fire arrow. To melt the eye switch here. That'll open this gate. And take a look. Floor master. Defeat them before they reassemble into their full parts. And I could have sworn that there was um a way to get light shining through here. Oh, that's for our later portion. Hello again, my friends. It was the other eye switch that I need to open up. That was my mistake. Now here... What's a good idea is to immediately put on... That Deku mask. And the ceiling will spin up and down once you strike this. Want to quickly move to a flower. And what's interesting is that you can hit the ceiling once again. To make it go back up. You want to take off your mask. To plop that switch down. Now you can use an arrow to go ahead and raise the ceiling again. Or alternatively, you can do a roll jump. Now this room is a bit of a challenge. Well, not so much of a challenge as it is difficult to figure out because we haven't used the Lens of Truth in a long time. You'll see some boulders there as well as a skill chill. I don't know, you can go ahead and dis... Did I say boulders? Mines, but if you go over here, there's an easier path. Simply go ahead and run across here. Hit that switch. Defeat Skulchula there. Take off our lens. And roll across. See? A bit easier. Now you come across some bubbles, which may very well curse you. Thankfully, I managed to somehow avoid them. Put our mask back on. Man, this feels a bit like a stone mask, doesn't it? The girl shall appear here and, um, give you a hint on how to open the gate. But, we don't really need him because I already know how to do so. By the way, you want to walk on this edge and go ahead and avoid attack any key ways that may appear. Because the ways like to knock you off. But what's interesting is that if you manage to go over here, and yes, if you get knocked off, there are tons of bag tries to keep. Take a look over here. There's a paper airplane. Nice Easter egg. Anyways, you want to kill the quake. I hear ya. Okay, I ought to listen to the music. To know if there's any 
bell music coming up. To jump down here. Unfortunately, the guays will keep appearing, so. I'm, but regardless, I'm going to fly over to this switch over here. Step on it. And a hole shall appear. Afterward, we want to go ahead and jump across here. And you might hear a guay coming above you. Just wait for the guay. Come on. I know you're here. Try that again. No, not the thing of mess. It's a roll jump. Oh no no no! Back again. that way, so... Let's go ahead and do this right. Do jump onto that pug. Flower. And hurry to jump across the flowers. You already see the prize that is on the other side. But now, anyways, I should have rolled at the bottom. We can go right back to the entrance now that we let some light in. Calling them friend, they're creepy as heck, and they latch onto Link like freaking rapists. If you are wearing these masks, why did I have to melt that? I don't know. Anyways, you can use the. Anyways, you can use the mirror shield to go ahead and take care of them, and you hear redeads there, so let's go ahead and go ahead. Did I say go ahead, go ahead twice? Anyways, take a look. Doing the Russian dance. Moscow, Moscow! Anyways. Go ahead to the next room. And hello, old friend! This is Wizrobe, except he's a fire Wizrobe this time. For him to fully appear. 
and slash at him. He has less health this time. So don't worry about using the Goron. Go back to the center. Whoops. Wait for him to dance. And this time, he will not teleport anymore, so go ahead, just look at the dot on the screen. And just start attacking him. He will no longer disappear when you get close to him, so he remains a pretty easy boss. Side here. Avoid these reduds. Ashley? Is there a magic in the other jar? Nope, just rupees. Just take off the keep on mask after you take care of those reduds. Or take it off here. Anyways, you see that hole? Do not go down it. It was for the previous rooms. What you want to do and take that powder keg. Become a Goron. And set the powder keg there. Become Captain Kita once again. And just wait for that to explode. Jump down. And just walk around in circles to immediately take care of those re-deads. Gain tons of rupees in the process. But the main idea... Take care of that sunblock. Again, that is such a stupid pun. And here, grab your arrows, because they're going to be helpful. Because as you can guess, there's a boss in the very next row. Oh, insolent one who had brought the unthinkable into a land as Ikana. My servants have fallen nemesly before the light that guides you. However, the darkness in which my servants live, after all, fleeting. You shall see it with your own eyes. Just what kind of tr thing true darkness really is. <laughs> Here he is, the king of Ikana. Now, here's a fun little fact. Wait for them to get up close, and... Yes, that is hilarious. They will follow you. It's... Well, I don't, but they start marching. It's hilarious. But seriously, you want to take off... But seriously, what you need to do... Is use fire arrows... To return the light. Now, uh, very weird glitching in the Brainman mask. So, I hate those soldiers once again. Get hurt! Hold on, jeez! There we go! Panics. 
Just wait for the opening. And burn their corpses. With the light. Defeat, and now we're up against the King of Ikana. But remember, we were a friend of Kita. We served under you. Remember, it's me, Kita. Oh, Kita! Is that not Captain Kita? But you're so. It's tiny! I was really thrilled by what you have done. He is really just a tougher version of the guys that we already battled. Just go ahead, wait for openings. <laughs> Now when his skull is appearing, just run around. It's actually a good idea to... Well, actually use the bunny hood. And just run around. Run on the wheel until you hear that, take it off. And repeat the battle. Put on the bunny hood again, I target him, run around. That's literally the only way to avoid his end. Okay, take off the hood. And of course, shine the light to defeat his corpse. Man, he was a tough battle. You're blocking me. Get out of the way. I can still get him. I hate stuffles. But blocking you? The reason he beat us is because you were. So feeble, don't blame this on me. What? Just try saying that again to my body face. Feeble, 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 feeble. Shut up already. Here, go look at me. I was once called the best swordsman in all of Ikana. The greatest swordsman in all of Ikana? You feeble. Draw your weapon! Huh? I'm not here to draw your sword! How? <laughs> Will you stop? What fools! Have you begun to understand? The Gnome ain't ruined and us left in the state isn't it pretty little barrels like this that has caused it? I guess causing... I guess sacrificing your humans and resources over petty arguments is probably an unjustified reason. In other words, war is really stupid. That is a natural political opinion. But, anyway. I mean, don't get me wrong, you should be able to... The army, the military is important. You need to defend your comp, your country and nation against those who are crazy enough to use... to sacrifice people for selfish ideals. But enough about that. On to the game. Believe in your friends and believe in that. Embracing that belief by forgiving failure. These feelings have vanished from our hearts. 
It all happened after somebody must open the doors of that stone tower. You bring light into darkness. I am the king of Ikana Kingdom. Egos to Ikana. The spell binding that has been cast upon us was broken by that light which you carry. Ah, I see someone opened up stone tower and um broke the barrier between this world and the afterlife. To return true life to this land, you must seal the doors to the stone tower. May the winds of darkness blow through. The stone tower is an impenetrable stronghold. Hundreds of soldiers from my kingdom would not even be able to topple it. It's far too reckless for one to take on such a challenge. And so, I grant you a soldier who has no heart, one who will not falter in the darkness. You shall remember this song. Right, love, left. So it's right, left, right, and then starting from the bottom, do a circle. Very easy song. Oh my god, it's Ben! What's interesting is, what, the statue that people always called Ben? Is actually based on Shigeru Miyamoto. Yeah, nice little fun fact. And yes, I have read the Ben fa um, creepypasta. It's actually, it's not that bad of a story. Despite being overpopularized. Elegy of Emptiness is a mystical song that allows you to shed a shell shaped in your current image. By playing the song while wearing masks to assume different forms, you'll be able to leave up to four empty shells. One for each form. So they're soulless um, images of ourselves. Miyamoto is soulless! Nah, I'm just joking. This soldier who has no heart is your twin image. A shell of yourself, though. You will shed when your song commands it. On my kingdom, shine the light of justice. The door will open, and you are free to leave. With the LG of emptiness, we can finally climb Stone Tower, giving us access to the final dungeon in the game. Well, second to last dungeon in the game. But... Before we go ahead and use the Song of Solarine to escape this place, I think I'm going to end it here. Next time on Let's Play Majora's Mask, we're going to take on the final temple of the game, Stone Tower. I will see you guys next time.